streets, what's happening? I'm your host, Zo, sitting alongside DJ Shad. What's happening, homie? What's going on? Appreciate you coming on the show. You already know. Everybody wanting to know who's cool. the DJ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, you're looking at him. Shit. You already know, man. This your boy, DJ Shad, man. The people's choice, Mr. Break out of the city. The number one DJ in Duval County. Gonna put the city on the map for real. I heard that, man. Like, in it. Deals or something you got going on, like uh, you can't discuss that right oh, now. Oh man, I got you a lot of deals on the, the table. A lot of deals on the table. Just shout out to God, I'm blessed. Okay. It's definitely gonna happen though. Shout out to 106.1, shout out to 93.3. Like, I'm everywhere with it. You grind. Definitely. Okay, that's what's up, man. Um, Duval known crowds in the barrel. Yeah. You know, how you feel about that? Like, we from Duval. You know, niggas want handouts and shit. Yeah, niggas want handouts. You got to grind for it. Definitely. But that crab in the back, that shit just piss poor to me. Yeah. Just being true. I, I'm a man. Like, man's going to get it. You right. feel what I'm saying? When I was at the bottom, I ain't asked nobody for a handout. Right. Shout out to my dog, DJ Sheldon. I lost from the council. We just grind. You know what I'm saying? We started at the bottom, like, doing teen events. Shit, we babysit our crowd until they got 18 and older. Now I can do a 25 and up event. I can do a 21 and up event. It's just you gotta grind for what you want. A lot of people call Duval crowds. Right. It's only a crowd city if you let it be a crowd city. You're right. It's not a crowd city to me. Because yeah. when I was at the bottom, I ain't never say, oh, this shit a crowd city. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's crabs or whatever, whatever. Because I ain't worried about that. Yeah. A lot of people worry about handouts. You can't worry about that. That's the only time people call Duval a crab city is when they looking for a handout. Right. But if you maneuver your way up to the top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people gonna overlook you while you're at the bottom. But when you get to the top, they ain't got no choice to do. I mean, shit, it is what made us. You know what I'm saying? You can't feel be me? proud of everybody. Somebody made it out there. Somebody making it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like mixtapes, radio stations, all yeah. that. Like what you got going on? Like you be all over the world, right? Like, Definitely all over the world. I, um, matter of fact, you got off the Smokers Club tour. My dog, Mark Squad Nard, okay. who was in Seattle, Dallas, San Francisco, California, New York. Man, I can go on for days, but uh, shout out to Mark Squad Nard. Uh, I've been traveling all around Florida with Tokyo Jets, and okay. we just got off we just got, we just left Houston. Shout out to Houston, man, show major love. So yeah, I'm traveling all the way around Florida and in the world and just traveling the world with Tokyo Jets and Mars Squad and all, man. So you both for that DJ? Yeah, I, I fuck with them heavy. Yeah. I just I dropped, dropped, just dropped the mixtape with, called Top Shot of mixtape. Okay. Yeah, Young Trap on there, Tokyo Jets and Mars Squad and all. You can catch that on Spinrilla. All my mixtapes on Spinrilla, matter of fact, shit. I like how you grinding, man. Like, it took you a minute to come on the show. Oh, yeah, it did. We from the bottom. We trying to come up, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, nah. Uh, it just, it just, a lot of people hit me up, like, Real, yeah. John Marcus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, them OGs with me. So, when they told me, I really took it serious. Like, all right, I'm going to get up and do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You see, I'm here. Yeah. See, it's storming outside. I'm here. I ain't locked up. I'm here. Hey, but uh, other than DJing, man, like what else you got going? You got stuff going on in the community with the kids. What? Right, right, right. You got to help out the community because that's, right. that's, that's how I motivate you like to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Right. The community motivate me because I know where I came from. Shit, I'm from the north side, right over right. there. Fair fight, shit. Big two-story house, little dirty little kid running around middle school. Right. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. But I'm getting it in, though. But, um... It's just, I got a lot going on, man. Helping out with Reebok Boys basketball team, giving back to them, buying the chili leaders like slides, and just giving back to the community. You know what I'm saying? God bless you like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to look up. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Well, man, they want to book you, man. How you do things like that for parties, booking, radio, whatever you got going on, yeah. man. Let them know what, what it is. Well, for booking, y'all can hit me up. 904 566 3493. DJ Shab 904 on Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter. Uh, my phone number 904 566 3493. You can catch me everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Anything that's popping in the city, I got responsibility for that. You know what I'm saying? I used to see it about me. I'm doing this shit. You bring the city out. Oh, man, that's my name. I heard that. <laughs> Appreciate you coming on the show, man. For I'm sure. This Shab. You already yeah. know. The fire marshal know my name by heart. Mr. Bring Out the City.
yo, 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 this your girl Darian with Views from the Street on episode six. I'm sitting here with your boy Tony Washington, known as Tony Maserati. How you doing today? Good. That's I'm what's really up. Really That's what's here. up. We're happy to have you. Yes, so this is my thing. I want you to introduce and tell us about you. People who don't know who Tony Maserati is, who is Tony Maserati? I mean, I would say, man, Tony Maserati is just someone, man, that's a hard worker, grinder, you know, and just trying to make a difference in the city in a positive, positive image, positive way, man. That's really who I define myself. Okay, okay. So Maserati, where did we get the name Tony Maserati? You think about Maserati, you think about a fast flying car, so what is that? Oh, uh, no, it actually doesn't have anything to do with a car, actually. I mean, um, you know, it goes back to a personal situation in my life. Um, you know, um, a lot of things I put out, you know, a lot of people see me as a you know, partner in Crown Capital, all that good stuff, but uh, I'm actually a suicide survivor. Um, after a long professional track and field career, you know, came back and things weren't really going good, so I found myself one night, man, I'm not gonna lie, drunk depressed, sad, outside of one of my homeboys, uh, old car dealership, and his father owned an exotic car dealership. And, you know, I actually attempted suicide. I can't say here a lot to you, man. Wow. You know, I woke up the next morning and just happened to be leaning on somebody, old Maserati that was broke down. So wow. I gave myself that nickname to remind myself, you know, where I, where I came from, you know, the situation that I had to overcome. Yeah. So, you know, it's a nickname somewhat to do with the car, but it more goes back to a situation that I survived and made it through. So ever since then, you know, a little therapy, can't lie to you, yeah. but a whole new outlook on life, man, and just grinding and trying to make a difference in the city. Yeah, yes, well, I'm man. glad you made that difference. Oh, yeah. That's what's <laughs> up, that's what's up. So you said you have, uh, you went through the whole suicide thing, and now mm -hmm. I do hear that you have the suicide prevention hotline. Mm -hmm. How did you come about that? I mean, I know you had your own experience, mm -hmm. but what made you want to go ahead and say, you know what, let me go ahead and start of line for people who went through what I went through? Um, it, it kind of just started off as something to do. It started off kind of therapeutic for myself. Uh, you know, I kind of just got with the uh, National Suicide Prevention Association. Yeah. And pretty much just volunteered, man. So, you know, every blue moon, I say a couple nights a week. It really depends on my schedule. Uh -huh. You just get on there, man, and just try to help people that's in distress, people that's trying to make bad decisions. Yeah. Uh, can't lie to you, man. You know, I'm a pretty goofy person, so, you know, I wind up making a lot of people laugh on there, uh -huh. you know, when they do, you know, try to think about doing the wrong thing, but, you know, it's, it's just something that, you know, I do, and it's a personal way to give back, not only to the city of Jacksonville, but to the world, because you never really want to see anyone go through right. the same things that you went through, right. and, you know, I'll say the night that I had my issue, I think I called about 20 people, but it was 3 o'clock in the morning, right. so I understand why some people didn't pick up, but, right. you know, sometimes it's just a good thing to be on this nail. So let's go to it. Mr. Uh, Club Promoter, Mr. Oh, First Friday of yeah. Duval, Jacksonville. Sweet. How do we get into that? Oh, man. Um, all that started, uh, my brother, uh, Timothy Sean Washington, was actually murdered in a nightclub here in Jacksonville. Oh, man. A lot of tragedy in life, but a lot of tragedy in life that wind up, you know, ending into a lot of beautiful things. Right, right I'm seeing that. Just yeah, listening so, to your story I mean, right yeah, now. so I'm not built up by any means, but you know, it was a uh, club called Choices Nightclub. Mm -hmm. uh, he was actually stabbed to death in front of 500 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, before he, you know, passed away, we had a plan when we were like 10 years old to get into the nightlife business. Mm -hmm. He was going to be the face and I was just going to be the person in the background mm -hmm. as far as creativity things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, with him passing away, I kind of you know, straight away from it, track and field ended. And, you know, I kind of needed something to do. I'm not gonna lie to you. And one night, man, I just threw this one event and um, it kind of took off from there. Um, I wanted to become a partner in the Crown Capital Group and wow. it's just been a blessing since then. Man. Yeah, so ladies, if you're trying to get in the line at First Friday, holler at your promoter. This yeah. him right here. Yeah, that number is 537 That number by heart. <laughs> so are you just doing promotion with Crown Capital? Do you have other promotion, promotion um, activities or events going on that you do with other? Yeah, um, I'm also a partner in Alumni Entertainment. Okay. I um, also have my own company, Maserati Promo. Uh -huh. So I'm I'm kind of in a triangle in the city. And, okay. Um, you know, normally, you know, people in this business in Jacksonville, yeah, they'll have their own company and they'll do their own thing and they'll stay with that side. But me, 
with the direction that I'm going for us upscale, kind of mm -hmm. putting a level on you, kind of, hey man, you got clothes coming here. Right. It's kind of new. So right. we kind of got to spread that to a couple other, you know, I actually, I'm not gonna lie to you, need help doing it because it's not a popular thing. So to who came up with mm -hmm. the dress code? The dress code, I would <laughs> say, honestly, it was a combination of myself, Ivory, the um, good, a good chunk of the Crown Capital Group. We came up with it, to, you know, together. Cause we all watch TV. Yeah. We all watch the shows, Power, and all these other things. You see these people in these clubs on TV. You know, they dress like bosses and all that good right. stuff. Right. Look at the Atlanta nightlife, Vegas, Miami. Right. Some of these cities, you know, uh, the, the the security guard will walk up the line mm -hmm. and he'll pick out who he wants. Right. Not that you got there before eleven or right. you got off now. So they'll literally pick you out and say, Hey, you coming in and you not and you're just sitting out there in the line until you hey, what about me? <laughs> all red patch. <laughs> right. Uh, not that we're trying to Rain Jacksonville to that point. But yeah, we're not, well, we right. should. I, I think I we agree. should. Yeah, we point. do not have that nightlife so, and we need it. We have to take steps to get to it. Right. And so, right now, I'd say First Friday is more of a baby step compared to Atlanta, right. compared to what's going on in Charlotte, things of that nature. So, you know, I mean, it's a it's a good step for the city. The city is responding to it. I'm not gonna lie, it took a while. What? I spent plenty of nights sitting in the venue by myself. Yeah. Dancing with DJ by myself. <laughs> and, right. Yeah, a party by myself. But you know, it's it's a grind, man. So okay. Keep going. And you're doing promos in Orlando as well, right? Yeah. Is that with Long Line? Uh, no, that's okay. actually just with me. Uh, you know, Maserati promo. I'm doing okay. that in uh, conjunction with uh, Johnny Torrance, Jade Events. Uh, we have a lot of things going on with Hennessy, uh, Grey Goose. Uh, we do a lot of stuff with the Florida Classic. So, I mean, it's a conjunction that we're doing on myself. But also host events. I'm not really tight to grab the microphone and yell over the music and all that all good right. stuff. Yo, but, yo, yo, yeah. yeah. Some people want to hear the music. And no offense to people that do that. I actually like a good mic, man. So, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, man. So, any other type of involvement within the community or anything? Um, I would say I do a lot of a lot of work in the community, uh, my uh, Masonic fraternity. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm a um, Prince Hall Mason, so through there we do a lot of service to the community. That's what's up. Uh, here you go. Like I said, this is Tony Maserati, Mr. Maserati, Mr. <laughs> prevention, Suicide Prevention, Mr. First Friday. You you name it, we got it. Here you go. Again, this is Views from the Street. This is your girl, Darian. And this is up shirt. They know I drank a lot now, nah, so that's why my shit tight right here. Don't trust no chick that messing with your dog. That law. If you come up, don't forget about your dog. That law. I'm a street, so it's the law. If you broke, that should be against